my name is Colin Hayes, and today I'm going to find out what is so special about science. That's why I'm going to ask two experts for their opinion. Hi, Bob. Can you briefly explain what you do at Bear? It's a great question, Kellen. So what I do for Bear is I have the privilege of leading a group of really smart and incredible scientists. And what we work on is we try to make sure that farmers are successful every season producing crops that are really important to the world because they help to feed us all. Hey, Abby, can you tell us what you do at Bear? Hi, Callum. Uh, so my team's job is to help create the products that keep you well. Um, they look after you when you're feeling ill. Uh, the kind of things that you often see in your medicine cabinet at home, like the supplement that you maybe took this morning or your allergy medicine. That's really cool. But why did you ever want to become a scientist? I wanted to do something that made people's lives better, but also I love to learn. And no matter how experienced you are or how many degrees that you have, you never ever stop learning when you're a scientist. And there's also so many different types of science, so you're never bored. How does science make you feel? Um, when I figure something out or I learn something new, it kind of uh, makes me smile, makes me excited, makes me proud. When my team does something really, you know, breakthrough, it's like that that's such a great feeling. And I think the other part of it is as a scientist, I always wanted to be able to do something where the science isn't just about learning and discovering, but it's actually about how those discoveries have an impact on you and me. And so that that's the best part of my job, I think, is that I get to I get to feed my curiosity and my desire to learn, and at the same time we do it in a way that helps people. So that's pretty fun. Is there anything I do or use every day that is a good example of science at work? Well, think about a computer. I mean, a computer is based on probably 400 years of science. I mean, the term even electricity, which as you know, right, a computer uses electricity, that was first discovered. Some of those basic elements were discovered over 400 years ago. Somebody developed the first battery 200 years ago. Now, it wasn't a very good one, and it's a lot different than the ones we use in our computers today. But, uh, you know, those, those scientific principles, they build on each other, and that's what creates these amazing things that we use and do every single day. Huh, I never really thought about that. What is something that kids do or use every day that is also a good example of science at work? So science is in everything that we do, uh, cooking, eating, breathing, the fabric that we wear, the toothbrush and toothpaste that I'm sure you used this morning to brush your teeth. Everything is grounded in science. If we take cooking as an example, um, it starts with heat energy transformed in the pan in forms of conduction and convection. After the heat is passed to the ingredients, it breaks down chemical bonds and forms new bonds to make the delicious food that we're going to eat. This is both chemistry and physics involved. We also follow a recipe often. This normally makes us have the right balance of ingredients. And there's your maths. And when we eat the food, it undergoes many, many different chemical reactions in the body, converting it to energy, transferring proteins, carbohydrates, and fats into our body. And there's your biology. Yeah, but why does it even matter if kids like science or not? When you're older, you're gonna help make really important decisions. And I think we're a smarter person and we uh, do a better job when we use science as part of our decision making. You know, should we do something or shouldn't we? You know, and today with so much information on the internet and other places, it's become more confusing, I think, for people to decide what is good and bad, what's right and wrong. I think science is one of those great things that helps us do a better job of making good, good and smart decisions. What would you say to us kids to get us interested into a career in the science fields? I'd say that there aren't many jobs that give you the opportunity to do something that can change the world. So if you're inquisitive, science is the place to be. Um, I'm a mum of two girls. Um, I also would say that I want to see more girls in science. It's important to understand all of the STEM careers that exist. Science isn't just about white lab coats and Bunsen burners, although they can be fun too. Um, there's so many different possibilities. The future world needs ideas that are generated when diverse viewpoints come together. So both men and women, people from all types of backgrounds and parts of the world. Just remember, science benefits everyone, and careers in science are for everyone. Now that was a cool interview. Now I really understand that science isn't only something we learn at school, but it's also something that I do every day, and you do it too. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.